In this lecture, I will install Visual Studio Code on my Linux device. I will also install the ASP.NET Core runtime on this Linux device. So as you can see right here, I'm at code.visualstudio.com. I'm going to put this in full screen mode. I have Visual Studio Code open. I'm going to download Visual Studio Code for Linux 64-bit operating system. And you also have the option of a 32-bit version. But since my computer is running 64-bit, I'm going to download this. So I'll click Download for Linux. And once that happens, it's going to prompt. I want to save this file. And you'll see it downloading at this point. Once it finishes downloading, we're going to go ahead and extract the files from it. So we're going to open this up. We're going to have our Visual Studio Code Linux 64-bit file. We're going to right-click, click Extract. Once we click Extract, let's scroll down here. Let's say Extract. We're going to replace all. And then let's show the files. And you can see right here I have the different versionings from the zip file, and everything that I have loaded. I previously installed it, so let's delete this and the zip files. And then let's open up my file structure that's been extracted. And you can see inside of the extraction folder I have Visual Studio Code right here, the icon, if I double click it. You can see it right there. And now I have Visual Studio Code running on my Linux device. So this is how we install Visual Studio Code. Now let's install the .NET runtime, the DNX runtime for ASP.NET Core. And you can find all the command line installations associated with this if you go to docs.asp.net and then go to getting started and then go to installing ASP.NET 5 on Linux you'll see all the terminal commands associated with the installation you'll see right here you will install curl once you install curl you'll be able to install the .NET versioning manager and it has all the terminal commands associated with this once you install the .NET version manager then you can install the DNX runtime this is what we're going to do next. I will also supply the commands associated with this installation. You also can install DNX for mono if you want to have mono installed on your device. So let's exit out of this. Let's close all tabs. I have right here a text document with all my terminal commands. I have my terminal commands to install curl. I pre-installed some of this beforehand, but I want to show you how it works. So in this case, I have my terminal command. Let's just copy my command right here. Copy it, then paste it. And then it's going to ask for my password on my local machine. And now we have that installed curl. And then we're going to go to the .NET versioning manager and try to install that from GitHub. Paste this. And it says it's already installed on my device. Typically, if it wasn't installed, it gives you a list, a list of items that it will install. It takes about a minute, but you want to make sure that this is installed. Now let's install the DNX runtime. Copy and paste it. It's extracting all the package lists and everything like that. Now let's see if our DNX is actually installed. So we type the command dnbm list. Look at that, we have ASP.NET Core running on our Linux device. It's installed. You can see the version, the operating system. As you can see, we have the latest version of RC1 Update 1. And you'll notice one thing different, that the runtime, there isn't the full CLR like we had on our Windows device, because the full CLR will only run on Windows. On Mac OS X and Linux, you'll have the core CLR installed on this device. Now, if you want to upgrade it, you can always do DMV upgrade. It appears you don't have mono available. Remember, if we're trying to run the application. So we'd have to go in here and actually install mono to run this application. So now, once we have that set up, let's make sure we try upgrading again. It says you don't have mono. And then let's list it. And as you can see, we have Mono installed in this application, which is very nice. So that's a beautiful thing about the command line, that it, goes, it will go ahead and install Mono if it realizes that one of the packages is missing. 
So now we have Mono installed on our device, and now we can run through Visual Studio Code, which I'll demonstrate later, an ASP.NET Core application. We also want to go ahead and install Node.js, and I will demonstrate that on my Mac OS X to install Node.js. It's the same process as you're installing it on Linux as well. I want to thank you for joining me in this lecture. Have a nice day.